How's it going Power Stoke Nation? My name is Austin and welcome back to the Power Stoke YouTube channel. I'm happy to be back because I haven't been here for what, like three weeks? So this just feels good to be back and doing videos again. I've been absent as you guys have noticed, three weeks, no videos. Um, but I'm finally back. It's just been an absolutely crazy past like month. Uh, weekends have been totally taken over by just work and helping family. We're getting into that time of year where Christmas, holidays, all that stuff is becoming super important and uh, you gotta help out everybody you can, you know? And if you haven't noticed already, we are on a totally new camera. That's why it looks absolutely amazing. My fiance hooked it up with a Canon G7X Mark II. She uh, she knows I've been like wanting this camera like crazy. And I was gonna buy one this Black Friday and she already bought one for our anniversary gift. This is gonna step the whole YouTube game up a little bit. We're gonna get better quality and better cinematics. I like the fact that it stays focused on my face and it'll kind of blur the background. I don't know if it's doing it right now. It doesn't look like it. I have a screen so I can actually see what I'm doing. This is gonna be awesome. So today, you guys, we're going to be changing up the look of the truck completely. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I've had this idea for a little bit and I've just kind of been looking for the right product and finally I found one on Amazon, lo and behold. Let's go around to the back of the truck and I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. So the truck has been completely neglected the past couple weeks. I haven't washed it. Um, I actually tried to do a video pulling that dent out. I'll put a little clip here. All right, you guys, this is the moment of truth, the final push. Here we go. <sighs> I'm praying that this works. The reason I never put that video up is it wasn't the quality that I was like, I wanna make better quality videos for you guys, something that's actually worth watching and you guys want to watch, if that makes sense. In 2020, I really wanna step up my video quality. I wanna do better videos, something that I'm way proud of, because there's a couple videos I put out that truck goes by like 30 times a day. Quality of videos I've been putting out aren't exactly up to par with what I wanna be putting out. Um, I've been kinda of disappointed with some of them, so I'm really gonna to try to step it up in 2020. I got a lot of resolutions that I'm really gonna to try to work on to make this channel a lot better and uh, hopefully more entertaining. So as you guys know, if you've been around on the channel for a long time, two years ago, this toolbox is broken into. That's why it sits funny over there. It just doesn't look good on the truck anymore. When I first got this truck, I wanted to lift it, put a headache rack on it and a toolbox, but everybody does that. It's a good look, but I wanted something different, hence why I'm going the more street truck look with the Toyo Proxy. So you guys, we're gonna be changing the whole look of the truck with this box right here. So this, you guys, is a locking bed cover. I am so excited. It was $200 on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description. This one's just a tri-fold vinyl. I've seen a couple different guys. I think Bad Z71 has had one, but I mainly, I want to give it a shot and see how it looks on my truck. Cargo space, having this bed cover affecting it, it's a tri-folding. It'll fold up into thirds, and it won't take up much more room than what the toolbox already is taking up. So I'll still have all this accessibility underneath for sliding plywood because it's an eight-foot bed. I can set a piece of plywood in here and close the tailgate. I really like the street truck look, and I really think this is gonna be a way that I can have my bed covered, if I haul groceries, whatever, I can set them back here, but I can also have it look aggressive. And I'm very excited to share that with you guys, to give you guys an idea of, if you guys are looking into bed covers, you don't need to buy a $1,500 bed cover just to have something that's nice, and that's gonna stay latched. Plus, I now have a safe place to store my tools at work, so I'm not really gonna need the toolbox anymore. And it's just getting ugly. I mean, we got the whole weather stripping falling out here. That side's all pried up. It won't latch very well. Once it's closed, it does not want to open. So, so it was just time, naturally, to upgrade. Guys, I haven't done anything to the truck in a long time. Uh, life's just kind of taken over. But I got a couple fun things coming our way. I'm very excited to start sharing that stuff with you. So enough yapping and just doing nothing but talking to you guys. Let's throw this bed cover on. I'm excited. So this is a very, very well used toolbox, you guys. We got the rust here. The lid got separated when the guy broke into it. So I had to get pretty creative with some tapping screws and some nuts. It's not a pretty sight. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this old hunk of garbage out of here. And uh, we'll get started on putting the fun stuff in. All right, you guys, so now that I have it on box, this is the Tiger Tri-Folding Bed Cover. Uh, it is for eight foot beds, obviously. I got a long bed on my truck. And they're on Amazon for about $209, and that was before Black Friday, before Black Friday or anything like that. 
So definitely if you guys are looking into like bed covers or anything, go check it out on Amazon. I know there's a lot of companies that charge a lot more and they might be a better product, but so far I'm very pleased. I mean, it came in a nice canvas bag. It's supposed to be a really nice vinyl. Let's finish unwrapping it and take a look and uh, I'm pretty excited. All right, you guys, I'm very pleased with the quality of this vinyl cover. For $200, I mean, that's, that's some pretty thick vinyl. It's got these steel bars running, or aluminum bars running across. They're gonna make it nice and sturdy, so if it snows or anything like that, I'm gonna have full confidence that this thing isn't gonna fall apart. Another nice thing is if you go to take this thing off and you wanna store it in your garage or storage unit, it comes with a nice bag that you can put it in to keep it nice and protected. So this thing comes with everything you need to install it, so it should be a relatively easy install. Um, I'm very excited to see how it fits on the Ford here. And one nice thing is a lot of the reviews claim it's watertight, so I'm very excited to give that a test because here in Oregon it rains all the time. So I'll be able to give you guys, you know, I mean, I, as soon as it rains, I can come out here, drop the tailgate, and see if it's nice and dry in there. So, I, guys, I can't wait anymore. I gotta get that bed cover on the truck. I'm so excited. I love the look of it without the toolbox. Toolbox? Guys, YouTube's hard. So you guys, I love the look of the truck without the toolbox. It just fits the look that I was going for personally. These might be changing out here at some point. So uh, stay tuned for that. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking their little foam seals that they provide. I'm gonna put one across the top of the bed here against the cap because a lot of water will drain off up here onto the tonneau cover. And basically I just wanna make sure that it's weather tight up here. You can add one to the back if you want, but I'm gonna be pulling stuff in and out quite a bit. So I'm not too worried about being that climate controlled. I just mainly don't want water coming from the cab into the bed. So let me explain to you guys what I just did by unfolding it and refolding it. The instructions state that you need to unfold the whole thing and make sure it lines up on your bed and it fits. It is a perfect fit, you guys. It's not like an inch short or anything. I mean, it is tight on this truck. There are rubber weather strippings here on the sides, which is super nice. It's gonna make it nice and weather tight in here. And that's just what I want. So we're gonna go ahead and clamp these sides down now that I have it all aligned. That's mainly what I was doing. So you unfold it, get it aligned on the bed correctly, fold it back up gently so you don't move it and then clamp the sucker down, super easy. It's a nice no tool install, which is super easy, which means anybody, I mean absolutely anybody can do this. Sure what that does, I'll, uh, I'll read up on that. All right, you guys, the new bed cover is on the truck and it looks phenomenal. I am so excited that, you know, $209, that's not that bad for this quality of a bed cover. I mean, it looks good. It doesn't look like crap, I'm being honest with you guys right now. It really does help with that whole street truck look that I'm going for with this truck. So without further ado, here you guys go. Right, you guys I couldn't I don't know if you could tell in the cinematics but the fitment on this is really nice I mean super straight we got these little dimples and stuff but it's been in packaging for the past week or so and it's freezing cold out here so the, the uh, not leather the vinyl hasn't had a chance to really relax so I mean seriously though this whole fitment is super nice along here it's nice and tight if I put you inside the bed here you can't see any daylight through which is super nice so I'm very excited to really put it to the test and uh, Next time it rains, really give it a shot and see what happens. I'll make sure to include you guys in the uh, whole ordeal if water gets in. I doubt it will. It really does look watertight and I'm super excited to actually put it to the test to see how dry it stays in there. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I really enjoyed making it. I miss making video. So leave a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys think about the bed cover on the truck. I think it looks phenomenal. I know it's not everybody's taste. My truck is definitely not everybody's taste. I mean, purple, leveled, street tire. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash that like button. Check out another one of my videos. And uh, I'll be back with more here pretty soon, you guys. I'll see you guys later.